Welcome back to the Mark Shapiro Music Channel. I am Mark Shapiro. And today I wanted to do a follow-up video to what I talked about the other day, which was Travis picking. And uh, one thing that I've um, stumbled across is that a lot of great guitar players do Travis picking, but using a pick. So I wanted to address that a little bit because this is huge. I grew up playing with a pick, so if I have a pick in my hand, I feel comfortable. I also have been um, shedding flamenco guitar for a long time, classical guitar and finger picking guitar, and I've um, come to be, you know, comfortable with no pick. But the pick and the fingers is my next thing to really, you know, to really start feeling comfortable with. So one thing that you can do is do Travis picking with a pick. So it changes things around a little bit because you use the pick, the middle finger, and the ring finger. M-A, as it were. So if I took my same G chord like we did last time, normally we're in a strumming thing. But now we're gonna do the Travis picking. So we're gonna go back to six and four, which for, you know, people that play with the pick, this is a great exercise just to do this, just to get you going on that, right? So now we're gonna add our, so remember we're one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna add our middle finger on the third string. So we're gonna go six, four, three, six, four, six, four, three, six, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Perfect. Now, when you feel comfortable with that, now we're gonna add our ring finger on the second string. So we're gonna get the second half of the measure would be six, two, four. 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 Okay, so what if I put it together, I get six, four, three, six, two, four. Six, four, three, six, two, four. Six, four, three, six, two, four. There's your basic, and then when, once again with the pinch. One other thing I want to mention too that's really interesting with the right hand. If you do, if your wrist is up like this, you're definitely gonna get a fuller tone. See, if, there my wrist is low. As soon as I go like this, I don't know if you can hear it with this mic, um, but you you definitely get a, a much fuller tone. You just you have more sound coming through the body. Also another note that I don't know a lot of people pay attention to this, but when your arm goes around the guitar, it's not supposed to rest on the guitar. This isn't, you know, like a foot rest or something. What it is, is you the guitar fits in there. And so you do this, I mean, you could just, without the guitar, it'd be that. There's really not now if i'm sitting here talking and i'm being lazy okay that's one thing but you don't want it and i don't know if you can hear this but if i just strum the guitar like i normally do and then i rest see how it just sounds different it sounds all like boxed in there it sounds like it's wide and it's expanding so that's one thing now the other thing i also learned is that if you want it to sound kind of bad or you want it to sound like an old bar room, you know. Then 
You can even do like a semi even palm muty kind of thing or by pressing your kind of wrist kind of into the guitar wherever it kind of fits in you kind of get like I call it the old barrel house sound so there's times when I you know like if you're doing a soundtrack or something like that and they don't want it to sound real pretty you know because it didn't sound like that in the old west you know they didn't have like five thousand dollar guitars in the old west you know the guitars were hanging on for dear life and uh and by the way that's a lot of the times where they had to use capos back in the day because um the guitars didn't really play good and so by putting a capo on you could actually get better playability because it would at least push the strings lower on one side so it'd make it easier to play so all right so that's travis picking with a pick that uh I don't know if he would approve of it, but hey, it is what it is. Now, another thing, too, we could do another lesson on the thumb pick, because I love the thumb pick. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we might just have to do that. The thumb pick and the fingers is really, like when you really want to get down, the thumb pick is where it's at, because it allows you to not have to travel as far. It's having like the pick right there. And then like Brent Mason Stiley or, you know, Chet Atkins. There's really a huge advantage to having that thumb pick so uh we'll uh we'll get up on that sometime soon but uh all right thank you for checking us out mark shapiro music channel see you next time around <coughs>